All right, welcome back to Never Tell Me The Odds. Let's just jump right into it. Playing GTA, and this happened. Why don't, what, what car even is this? Oh my God, can you get a Batmobile in Grand Theft Auto now? Or is it modded? I don't, this is kind of amazing. Wait, where's this thing gonna land? Do they have a Batmobile? Oh, not bad. That's not bad at all. I haven't been on it in a while. I assume they've done lots and lots of updates and cars and things like that. I assume it's not called the Batmobile, but that's pretty cool. That kind of makes me want to play it again. A few people being like, yeah, dude, stream some GTA. Who knows? Maybe. No promises. We'll see. Unexpected encounter. Oh, God. Are you going to get like an in? Oh, yep. Bird to the face. <laughs> that would just ruin your entire day at an amusement park. Wouldn't it? You'd be so over it after that. Like, it's time to go. I was having so much fun, and it's time to go home now. This roller coaster looks fun. I want to go on it, but, oh, God, at least it didn't go, like, straight into your mouth. And that would probably hurt at high speeds. That's like a solid projectile just going straight into you at probably, like, 60, 70 miles an hour. That's going to hurt. Oh, dude, it could have been worse, though. You could have gotten, like, what if, like, the bird head just went straight into the mouth? Oh, that would suck so much. Good thing the statue swerved. <laughs> it's been ready for this. This was its moment that it was made for so many years ago when it was installed into that location. He was totally ready to get out of the way of the oncoming car. In fairness, I think that the car actually did hit the statue a little bit. You can see that the ground has been uprooted slightly around the base of the statue. So he, uh, at least he got out of the way of a direct impact. So good job. Also, how did you mess up that badly? This is a sidewalk. Okay, how do you end up not only getting onto the sidewalk, but getting beyond the sidewalk onto the building? It's not even like a situation where you reached a T intersection that dead ended, your brakes failed or something like that. It's just, I don't, and it looks like a flat street. I'd like to believe that there is some, I don't know, vehicle malfunction that could have led to this, but it's probably not. Okay, well, a lot of not bounce, but let's move on to Lucky Escape. Oh. I never want to go. Oh my god. Yesterday, I I was it using the gym elevator, and it's the one that's been out of service. They're always, one of them is always, you know, out of service. One of the two. And it was just out of service up until yesterday. It's back on, opens up, I go in. It lands at another floor on the way up to the ground level. And then as soon as it goes from there, it does a little like freaking it jerks around on me. Thought I was gonna die walking out of it. God damn it. I'm gonna die one of these days from I I'm gonna I'm gonna get cut in half by a gym elevator. I swear to God. And I have no other option because of the stupid arrangement of the complex. I have to take the elevator. This though. Why is it, why are the videos so often in, in China? Why is it, is it just that there are security cameras all over the place? Or do elevators and escalators more often malfunction in, in China? Oh my God. I bet they're like, I swear, I didn't do anything. I just walked off the elevator. I didn't mean to break it. I don't know what we did. You didn't do anything. It's just, it's an escalator. Sorry, not elevator, escalator. I'm just mixing up words. It's all the same sort of thing. Mechanical things that you use that can just kill you at will. I'm out of here. All right, what have we got? I'm trying to predict what, wait, wait, wait. What's gonna happen here? Wait, can we predict, ladies and gentlemen? Leave a comment. Let me know what you think is about to take place because I don't really know for sure. Are we gonna get a double header? It's gonna bounce off of her face into his face, but it says, I'm out of here. So based upon the title, I, is the ball gonna like push her back through a window or is something gonna swoop in and grab the ball? Okay, don't cheat. Comment what you think is about to take place, and we'll see if anyone got it right. Did he just did he just miss every shot? Or wait, did no, the first one went in, right? And it just did a ring around the rosy. Hold on, let me that's not of all the things that could have happened, that's not actually what I expected. Yeah, no, I think he missed every single one. I mean, maybe it was on purpose. Maybe you just wanted to bounce it back and forth. It's like a kicking it against a backboard. It's just very talented at it. Doesn't need a backboard, just a pipe. Moth has snowman pattern on its back. 
So a couple of options here. One, Photoshop. Two, somebody held this poor moth captive and painted things on its back. Can you imagine if something like a million times your size just like pinned you down and started painting your back and then took a photo of you for internet karma? <laughs> Oh God, you'd be like, I just don't know what to, I mean, the moth doesn't have the presence of mind to be aware of what's going on, but still just like just a million times your size, just holding you down very delicately, making sure you're uninjured and painting things on your back. Can someone confirm this is real? Where's your Christmas spirit? I don't know if it's natural. This is a repost. What I've seen the oldest post is yada yada. Maybe it's real. The world may never know, but we know it's a repost. Complex. Okay, so hold on. What do we think is about to happen with the red circled rock? The car is about to kick it up and something is going to take place as a result. Here we go. I'm not going to do the leave a comment thing again because that's going to get too excessive, but here we are. Oh, God. Whew. Well, I got the kicking up part right. Did he actually get hit or is he just very surprised? Yeah, that's... See, this is why. Uh, oh, God, it actually hit him in the head? I think it did. It grazed his head. Ooh, was that? A, I don't know if that was a rock or what. Hopefully, it wasn't a rock because that'll that'll ruin you. That'll also like that'll shadow windshields. That'll kill a pedestrian. My God, that's why you put a clear brow over your car if you're worried about protecting the paint. Won't really protect against something that big, but at least little pebbles and stuff. That's why you got it. Ooh, short. I've been doing it wrong. Oh wait. Oh my God, that doesn't seem like. Just for one second in my life, I want to be that good at existing. Because it, it wasn't enough that you could do the discus bowling strike. But no, then you just have to do like a 360 parkour backflip after the fact. I just want to keep watching. This is... I hope that this person knows that you will never top this. You have peaked. This is the best moment that you ever get. Never ever... I refuse to believe that you get to experience anything better than this in your life. Because if you do, it's just not fair to the rest of us. So therefore, you have peaked. I'm just disappointed in myself now. Like, there are some things that I will see that I hope to achieve one day. That, on the other hand, I just know that it it will never happen. After the storm. Wow, that car. Ooh. You are, you are so very lucky. Oh my god. Can you imagine just the sheer disappointment? You know, all right, just uh, about to head off to work or, you know, just, just park for some coffee, heading back to your car and you just come back to your car and it is, a tree has fallen on it. It's just gotta be this feeling of sheer helplessness and disappointment because you, you can't get mad at anyone. There's no blame. It's just, it sucks. But this on the other hand, whew. I mean, you got a hell of a parallel parking job. I hope you're good at that to be able to pull out. But depending upon where you park at night, sometimes people get boxed in. I've seen a video of someone pulling out of a parallel parking spot. They had like an inch on either side of their car and they did it without ever hitting either of the other cars. It was very impressive, but also took like a hundred back and forths. Happy coincidence. Okay, it's happy. No one is about to get... Oh my God, is the bulldozer actually gonna pick it up? Hold on, this is amazing. He's like, now's my time to shine. I have always wanted to be able to save someone while he just like, I don't know if that was a mattress or something. Oh, that was a, that was a sick grab right there. I wonder if the person knew that something fell out of their truck though. What if they didn't know and the bulldozer is just chasing this around, carrying the mattress? It's like some scene out of Wall-E with like two robots just chasing after each other. The bulldozer like holding this thing. No, no, come back. Cinderella, I have your slipper. <laughs> I promise I'm not being creepy. Just trying to give it back to you. Um, that's great. That's great. I'm just picturing this with like the cars personified. Perfect timing. Wow. Can I also say that the first thing I was saying wow to 
Is the age of these children playing beer pong? <laughs> Assume the cups are filled. I hope they're just filled with water because when you play beer pong with literally anything other than water in the cups, it's disgusting. There is no reason ever to play beer pong with actual beer in the cups because either you're just getting the ball all gross and sticky and then throwing that sticky, gross, beer-covered ball all over the place, just spreading beer around. And if you have ants like I do, no ants freaking crawling on me this time, stupid idiots the hell away from me. Then they're gonna be all over that. You're gonna have some drunk ants on your hands and those are even crazier than regular sober ones. But on the other hand, if you're gonna drink the beer, then that's even grosser. It's just, you're drinking beer that had like, you just mixed a ball that's been all over the ground and dirt in your beer. You're drinking dirt beer. Anyway, sorry, that's my rant about beer pong and how it's dumb to play with anything other than water in the cups, but also these children are too young. Hit a fly in midair. Couldn't find until. Oh, poor thing. Just got wrecked. I mean, isn't that the, isn't that the point of a swatter though? Is like, you, you can probably, that probably is not the first time a fly has ever been trapped in the swatter after it's been hit. I'm less impressed with this because I would figure that if you don't like hit the swatter and then make contact with something after and you just hit the fly with the swatter quickly, that can happen. I think the swatter is more open than there is plastic on the mesh. So I don't know though, maybe this, I don't really use fly swatter. So maybe this doesn't happen. All I know is that the other day, I'm glad that there were, there were people here to bear witness to it. There was a mosquito in my house and uh, I had a couple people over and they're like, oh God, there's a mosquito. I'm like, where? And then I just freaking, mosquito is obviously easier to get than a fly. I know that, but I just did like a, I did like a tennis forehand, pummeled that thing into the ground, not into the ground. I just did the tennis forehand in the air and then the thing was just on the ground and it was like, first try, that's how we do it. Hot hands, Hannon. Oh, he didn't even mean, he didn't even mean to catch it. That's a pretty impressive throw. Just, <laughs> he's like, wait, I have a football. Oh, oh, that's a football there. Oh, I'm supposed to run with this. I didn't expect that to take place. Good job, quarterback. I guess that's why they pay, nope, they don't pay you anything because you're in, college football, and if you even try to make a YouTube channel do anything that earns you income when you're playing college NCAA sports, they like remove you from the team. It's the most bizarre thing. But anyway, anyway, I, I don't know why I, I digress, because I feel like he deserves to get paid the big bucks. Is this NFL or no, it's college, right? I think so. I have no idea. I don't, I don't follow sports. I matched a random duo with a guy, and his name was not something I expected. Hunt shot down. Spanish Inquisition. Spanish, wait, they both named themselves Spanish Inquisition. All right, I was kind of wondering if someone was talking to themselves, because usually you can't have the same name on a video game. But I guess this is a place where they're just like, how do you want your name to display? You can change it at any time, which I really like. It's nice when games do that. I guess, you know, Steam does have, you can change your display name to whatever you want. Yeah, no, come to think of it, it's probably just Steam. That is, I, it depends how many people are on this game and if the Spanish Inquisition is like a common theme that would be talked about on this game, but it seems unlikely. That's pretty wild. I don't think I've ever run into a person with the same username as me. And that even, even if I was rocking like Captain Sparkles on Steam, which probably a few more people use. I don't know though. Spanish Inquisition might be more widely used than Captain Sparkles. Who knows? But I've never run into someone with the same username. Well, blow me down. What are they blowing though? Is that a cap? Is it a... I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know what they've done, but I'm very impressed by it. I just want to know what the object is. That la that dude at the end with the save though, that was super impressive. It's veering off course and the dude in yellow just like gives that last minute correction. And actually it was a team effort between yellow and blue. Yellow corrected it and then blue straightened it out so that it went up the thing into the, how many takes did this go for? And what, and wh who decided to like, start this hey guys can we all circle around the table for an activity you see what we're gonna do so we're gonna blow this object with purely our breath around the table try to get a, la a lap around and then into the thing 
I don't, they, they looked at him like he was crazy and then they were all super pleased with the result. Two paintballs colliding midair, the top for the last month. This is a crazy, this is a crazy camera view. How did you get like a GoPro shot just that straight through your sights? That's what I wanna know. Like how do you get a camera to be right there without, or maybe that's that could be added in post. It's very possible that they could have done that in post, but if it's not, I'm just, I wanna know how, they, how he got the shot without blocking his own vision. It's a very clear shot though. I'm more impressed by the cinematography on this. I'm sure that's happened before in all the paintball matches out there, just not quite as clearly captured, probably. And everyone else is like, I don't know what you're giving me the thumbs up for. I didn't see what happened. Sure you, sure you did. Sure you hit someone else's paint. No, I swear I caught it on camera. I'll show you. It's the only way it was ever believed. Well, anyway, that's it for the last month of uh, Never Tell Me The Odds. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch up on other videos and subscribe if you're not already. And also merch and uh, and stuff. Represent.com slash Captain Sparkle limited time only. I'll see you next time.